Hello guys, it's Janos. Um, I'm back after a big delay. Um, I've been really busy recently, but um, here we go. This is the second part of the video for the Think Client server, LTSP server, and Think Client installation. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually create new users for the Think Client, um, how to create customized user environment for your users and um, how to install and uh, use ThinkLine Manager. Um, this is going to be a fairly brief video but um, I'm trying to get as much information together as as I can. Uh, you can see the Ethernet 0 card and Ethernet 1 card on the server is perfectly fine. Uh, Ethernet 0 is actually uh, DHCPing out uh, IP addresses and Ethernet 1 is connected to, to the wireless internet connection I have at home um, to give me some internet abili ability on the clients. <coughs> the first task I'm doing here is creating new users. The first user is client user 1 um, and I'm going to create a second one as well, client user 2 so we can test multiple sessions and logins um, for our clients. Since it was actually a long time ago, um, I have done the first video I needed to actually rebuild the whole system. So I've created a new thing client with a boot capability uh, on the network which I haven't done in the first video so that's the first user we're going to log in with and test our server if it's working properly fine um, as you can see on the bottom right corner is 10.10.10.21 so this is the first um, thing client IP which been uh, assigned to to our system and it and it's and it seems to be working fine the default profile actually pulls down perfectly fine and the internet connection is working as well you can actually type in google.com and it's and it's all fine the ip address proves that we're actually using a virtual image from the server the second step I'm going to make here is before I change the actual background because it's actually easier to to see that it's a, it's a server we are working on if the background is actually different um, is um, I'm going to install the Think Client Manager uh, now the Think Client Manager is, a, is an LTSP graphical management tool to set up, modify and manage a Ubuntu LTSP server Think Client installation and it's gonna give us some controllability over our clients, um, control and view ability over our clients. Um, it's a great graphical tool if you don't want to do uh, loads of typing. It's just really easy to actually do basic stuff like um, sending messages, um, disconnecting users, or actually blanking the screen for um, for the connections uh, for the thing clients. So, if you are actually on a break or if if your students um, on a break, you can actually um, just uh, just blank their screen. So. Nobody can actually access their PC um, right there on their thing client. <coughs> Unfortunately, thing client um, manager by default is not working, so we need to do some modifications because before we can uh, fully utilize it. Now you're going to see that I've got a working thing client already, but if I fire up thing client manager and type my password in it actually can't see anything so there's no 
think lines listed while I've got think lines one happily running in the background. Uh, the modification we need to do is um, I've got this file already here on my desktop, so we had just to make it easier. Uh, there is a file ltcm.py which we have to edit and uh, and remove uh, a string out of uh, one of its script line. Um, it's a PPID grep uh, which is actually on a wrong place right now uh, because if we remove it it actually works perfectly fine. So let's find the file first. Let's edit it and then uh, test how it works for us. So there we go. Here's the file ltcm.py and um, if we search for PPID grep that's the only thing we actually have to remove from this Python script and that will leave grep dash v grep instead of the extended script. <coughs> Simply just save it. You might need to actually uh, restart the thing client for being able to to see, see it running from the thing client manager. But um, that's just a the modification. It actually works perfectly fine now. You can see client user one, it's on a 21st IP address and it's running happily. Um, you're gonna see the command in process tree. Um, actually, we can see everything running on the client, all the tasks, all the applications. <coughs> there are some basic, really basic uh, stuff we can do. We can send a message to our users. Let's just send hello client, if I can actually type it properly. <coughs> and there we go. We've got a message from the server that hello client. And um, we can start an application. Let's try G edit um, and see if it actually kicks off on the on the client. And there we go. It's 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 fine. That works as well. We can also do uh, basic stuff, disconnecting, uh, put uh, clients in the group into groups. We can blank the screen, unblank the screen, share it, disconnect the um, actual client. So we have just blanked the screen. User needs to log back in again to unlock this. and then we can disconnect the client user, which will actually throw the user out to the login screen. You will see in seconds, it's gonna give us the login screen on the thing client, there you go. So let's just log back in again. So there you go. It's uh, it's got thing, uh, client user one logged in again. Now what I'm going to do to test multiple sessions and logins, I'm going to create another client. It's going to be thing client two with all the basic settings which I'm always using for these clients. <coughs> the only change I made on these uh, on the previous one or since the previous one 
is um, I'm actually um, getting into the BIOS configuration here. If you press F12 immediately here, you get into the BIOS and then just change the boot sequence so it boots from the network instead of the CD-ROM or hard drive first because it's quite annoying when you want to boot up the client and it's always you always have to press F12 really quickly uh, in VMware. Uh, as you can see, you don't need to actually pay attention to that now. And uh, this is working fine as it logs into 10.10.22. Um, so that's the second client we are going to have up and running very, very shortly. And until we actually log in, we're not going to be able to see it in the Thin Client Manager. So here's our second session coming up shortly. Let's log in as client user 2. And now we've got two clients running happily from our server. It's obviously the basic uh, user environment, so we really need to change that in a couple of minutes. Um, let's just test sending a message to client user 2 to see if it's actually get that gets delivered. And there we go, it's there. It's think client 1 hasn't actually received that, so that's perfectly fine. Now, um, if you would like to have, and if you don't want to actually spend loads of time on uh, customizing each and every one of the uh, client um, user environment uh, what we need to do is we have to I'm going to create a default user here which we're gonna set up just quickly um, with a custom image or a custom um, configuration so we can see how to actually um, set up a custom user environment for ourselves um, I'm going to give uh, sudo privileges to um, default user because we're going to have to run a couple of sudo commands while we're logged on, um, which you can do in, in etc sudoers as a sudo from uh, from the administrator account you have. <coughs> and in this, um, with this user login, I'm going to actually just create a, a, a customized setup going to remove um, a couple of applications like um, Ubuntu Software Center and stuff. Let's change the background first so that we'll actually, that's going to be the first clear sign that um, our new recreated users are going to actually use um, this uh, home setup. And uh, all you need to do is just set up uh, set up this uh, account exactly how you want it. Then copy the the entire home directory, including the hidden files as well, to etc. Scale, etc. Scale, um, and that's going to cause every new account to get that configuration. Um, now, what what you can see, I've actually removed a couple of things, so we're going to be able to actually check if it's working or not. <coughs> What we would really like to have is um, the ability that by default users can actually just right click and go back to main menu and then just change the configuration here. But we don't want them to do that. So um, if you edit this file, um, uh, if you're going to edit a la carte configuration and paste um, between the text and import.sys um, a little script that's going to not allow users to actually change or modify um, 
the applications menu simply by just right clicking on it and click on edit <coughs> and then you can put your custom message there at the moment it's not allowed but let's change that to not allowed for for users and that should be what should actually pop up when they try to uh, modify the um, menu applications there we go So that's the moment when we're going to create the, the home directory for the users. Uh, make sure that you actually change um, to show hidden files as well because we need the whole directory to be copied, copied over home default user. We need that whole directory to copy it over to uh, etc scale. Just paste it into this directory um, and overwrite all the files, um, what you have here. And what it should give us is uh, a default environment for each and every user we're going to create in the future. So now what I'm gonna try is um, I'm going to create a new user and that should actually pull this default user environment with it. So if you log in with new user, it should have uh, the changed background uh, the applications and um, we should have the um, restricted access to editing the menus so testing this let's just fire up the client one and login as new user one And there we go, we've got the background. We should have the application menu without the Ubuntu Software Center and the games. <coughs> and obviously if we click on edit menus, we should have the message not allowed for users. Now, uh, thank you very much for actually keeping up with, um, with these two tutorials. I'm going to do more. Uh, I'm going to uh, customize these images more and I'm going to customize the home environment more. So uh, please um, stay with me and then I'm going to try to do the third tutorial as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching.